The historic costume and textiles collection owns a number of corsets or stays as they were known in earlier times from different time periods. The first is a set of stays from the late 18th century, about 1790. Next to it is a 1820s uh, corset, followed by two corsets from the 1890s, um, very drastically different from one another. The difference among them certainly is their shape um, and the materials that they were made from. The 18th century corset um, was formed, the silhouette was really formed by a lot of narrow channels in the corset that were filled with whalebone. Um, and whalebone is the material that comes from the jaw of the baleen whale, and it's cut to this narrow shape. But you can see that it's very, very flexible, so that there is a lot of flexibility in what seems to be a very rigid piece. Next to it is um, the corset from the 1820s, and it has only one channel for a boning kind of material, which often could be ivory or wood. And um, the other narrow channels in there are just filled with the cotton cording. Now, for most corsets, you don't want to close them by bringing the backs so that they hit one another. You want to have some space in between so that there is some tension. And the material used for the eyelets in this case is actually carved bone. Um, in the 18th century corset, we have thread eyelets. Um, but by the time you get to the 1890s, the material is steel and you have steel eyelets. The other thing that's notable about the 1890s corsets is it has a front opening. So this was the first time when you have this front opening that women could actually dress themselves in their corset. You didn't have to have someone help you get into it, whether that be a servant or your husband or a sister. Um, you, again, had a lot of steel boning in the 1890s corsets that gave you that nipped in hourglass silhouette. But also in the 1890s was a dress reform movement which wanted to get women out of those types of corsets. And this health corset or reform style corset um, has in its channels, again like the 1820s corset, just a lot of cording and not steel bone. You also have adjustable shoulder straps with different buttonholes um, so that depending on the your distance from shoulder to bust line, you could adjust that. And that points to the fact that this was a mass-produced corset. It wasn't something that was custom made. It also has buttons at the waist where you could attach your petticoats, which you would wear more than one usually, and they could hold the weight of the petticoat um, not solely at the waist, but some of that weight would be shifted to the shoulders as well, which helped um, women in their health and keeping their organs from being compressed by a lot of weight around the waist.